sounds good, man. This is Christian. I was talking some shit. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> so this is J Sport Auto Works, guys. Just wrapped up the uh, install on the turbos. Oh, looks like no more smoke coming out the back, which is a beautiful thing. Looks like everything's starting to burn off. So what we're doing right now is um, just started her up. Want to make sure everything's holding pressure, uh, not pissing out any fluids, leaking, anything like that. Uh, Corey did a coolant pressure test last night and she was holding great, so didn't have any uh, worries, but always got to make sure, right? So uh, right now, just letting her run for a little bit here. Uh, gave her a quick couple taps on the gas pedal. She sounds mean. Uh, looks like all the residues have burned off from the fluid and uh, gold heat tape, all that good stuff. Um, sounding great. And uh, we are running the MHD um, Stage 2 Plus off the shelf tune right now. We reflashed it just to make sure to get the uh, Motive Ethanol Content Analyzer module uh, activated. So at this point, um, you just need to finish wiring that back up, um, get an ethanol uh, tune or a, uh, my custom tune, and that's going to include the flex fuel map. And then once I have that, it's just a matter of throwing some flex fuel in there and uh, instant uh, crazy amounts of power. So really excited, guys. This is two years worth of building, uh, more planning, uh, buying parts. Hey, guys. Rob with P&W Drives here. Corey's got everything back together on the vehicle, and we're moving on to the next phase of the build, which is adding a custom tune. We need to add the flex fuel uh, sensor there or uh, box. And that's going to send the signal over to the tune and uh, allow the tune to automatically adjust uh, timing and all that good stuff um, uh, based on the actual ethanol content in the uh, in the tank. So what we're going to do here is got to make sure your vehicle's uh, in ign uh, ignitions on. Uh, engine does is not supposed to be running, so just make sure ignitions on. Have your MHD up. Make sure you're connected to either your uh, wired um, uh, connection through OBD, or you use your wireless OBD connector, which is what we're using today all right guys so go ahead and go through the map so flash custom map and there's my file okay so we're connecting to the dme right now we're going to go ahead and select some options here um, I like linear throttle mapping, so I always leave that selected. Uh, let's see here. I do not want to adjust my vehicle's idle RPM, or um, I don't have uh, CADA DPs, so we're good on that. So we do want exhaust burble, and uh, let's see here. Base, I don't really want any burbles for that, but for sport, uh, max duration and what we're going to do is we're going to go with a uh, let's see here we'll go with a medium actually I'm going to go soft for right now and then uh, let's see here da, da, da. enable in standstill yeah we want standstill burbles don't want cold start uh, noise reduction. Don't care about that. We don't want to limit any power per gear. I'm running XHP stage three for my transmission tune and that takes care of all my stuff for the transmission. So we're good to go on that. We do want deactivate kick down switch. I don't want that thing dropping down a gear when I'm getting on her. Um, let's see here, no launch control RPM. So we're not running a manual. We do have the four bar T-map sensor. I don't know if you guys can see that and OEM ignition coils. Uh, we're putting on some new OEM uh, upstream O2 sensors to make sure all the data logging is going to be good. Coolant target stock, port injection, meth safety, don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about wastegate rattle fix with the new turbos. And we are definitely not selecting desensitize the knock tables. Okay, all of the options are selected. We're going to press long right. And we're going to be waiting for... Uh, the file to flash here, guys. So you can see some of the progress so far. All 
All right, guys, I'll get you another update here once we get closer towards the end of the flash, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start her up. All right, guys, just got done flashing the custom tune from uh, Wedge Performance, and we'll go ahead and start her up and see what happens. Here we go. All right, no warning lights coming up. No crazy codes. Mmm, fuel. All right. Low pressure fuel is looking good at 73. All right. Things are looking good so far. Smell that fuel. Alright guys. Let's check things out real quick. Everything seems to be running perfectly fine with it. So we just need to put some miles on her. Uh, kind of break in all the parts. And then once we do that, we'll get some data logs this weekend for Wedge. And then have them do our first revision on the car. Pretty exciting guys. Finally got my custom flashed uh, tune on there. Everything's running great. All the data is looking good. Temps are looking fine, but she's still cold. Pretty awesome, guys. Not one problem flashing that tune. All right, we'll go ahead and let her warm up a little bit. We'll put some miles on her and we'll get some more footage. Hey guys, quick update. Uh, custom tune is flashed on here. Now that the tune is flashed and we have the flex fuel logic built into the tune, uh, Corey's able to hook up the motive uh, flex fuel box. So um, that'll be the portion he's connecting. And right now he's hardwiring everything into the DME. Jake's our uh, stig for this uh, test drive. I'm gonna go blow it up. We don't say that word around here. And Corey's getting everything connected. The Corey was a man with the plan. He was a man that built all this uh, for me and just uh, amazed guys no issues and she is uh, purring with a new tune on her so he's connecting the box now getting everything uh, plugged in and then tucked away and then we'll have Jake uh, give her a quick shakedown and see what happens